Hi there, Sarah here from the Potting Shed. Um, so we're back at the garden, the Woodland Walk garden that we were doing quite a few weeks ago. So what I thought I'd do is just do a little pan around and show you all the plants that we've put in. Um, it's looking looking really good. Um, we've gone for a lot of um, evergreen shrub plants that will give a lot of winter and autumn interest which is what Sue wanted and then we've also put a lot of bulbs in that in the spring will make this area really pop and, and really come to life we've put oh god we've put crocuses we've put um, daffodils we've put some um, English bluebells we've put lots lots of things in so I'll just um, spin you around and show you what we've been up to So as you can see um, in this border, what we've done, we've just picked a handful of things and repeated them throughout. So down here we've got um, Fitinia, uh, Little Robin, which doesn't get too big, and we've got some skimmias there. I mean these have been in the ground only a, a couple of weeks and they've taken really well, so I'm really pleased. Then on this side we've got um, Viburnum Tynus, again evergreen. Lovely flowers now, we've got Hookara, we've got another Viburnum here which is called Viburnum Davidi, which also has white flowers but it's finished flowering now. Um, that's more of a low ground cover, whereas the Tynus, this one, will get a lot bigger and a lot bushier. We've got some little hellebores there um, in the background and then we've got Nandina Firepower which this time of year when the sun hits it later in the afternoon, it just looks absolutely gorgeous and the reds come through and it just looks lovely. And then we move down, we've got some Gaultherias here, which are great, a bit of berry, very Christmassy. And then um, Sue's popped her bench in there. Um, the areas that are you see empty, we've literally just packed with bulbs. So as we walk around, it'll look lovely in the springtime so as you can see it's just a repeat of the same flowers these were existing um, stepping stones that had sunken into the ground we've just mulched with some manure so that's why it's looking very fresh at the moment but if we just walk down the path you'll see it just marries round it's a great kind of idea if you've got a section of your garden that you don't really use um, but you don't want to spend an absolute fortune on doing something elaborate it's a nice little idea and it's just another little seating area really and there's a lot of herbaceous perennials in the garden so we thought it would be quite nice to have an area with some slightly different planting really um, so you've got two different elements so you've got a sort of a really nice spring garden here and then the rest of the garden is more for the summer time so yeah that's everything so I'll, I'll marry this up with all the other videos that I've done and put it all together thanks bye